All right, we'll be installing a 100 amp soap panel box off my 200 amp main. I got, I'm running home line, and this one comes with two screws and a grinding screw, which we're not gonna be using. Gotta separate the grinds and neutrals when installing a soap panel box. Had to order an extra grinding bar kit and a neutral terminal kit to accept the uh, two gauge diameter wire. Four inch box with a two inch diameter exposed wire cover for the C50R 50 amp receptacle. A 20 amp at the box, 6-2 wiring, 10-2 wiring, 12-2 wiring, 2-2-2-4 aluminum wiring, SCR cable, the uh, anti-oxidant compound to protect the uh, strip ends, got some 3-4 PVC piping and some PVC cement, the 50, 30, and 20 amp breakers, I got the 100 already, I just ins I installed it to test fit it, didn't want to take it back out, and got an inch and a half adapters for the sub panel and the main box with the lock rings and then two box, uh, two bags of four cable clamps to secure this cable. All right, here we go. All right, here, I punched out one and a half. My 200 amp main panel box with my double pull 100 amp breaker. I moved some of these around so I can make this one fit. I pulled it in through the middle hole up there so I can run it up through the side of the house. I'll leave it now for you to take off the jacket be able to be the wires can be exposed in here bend them up and tie it into the uh, breaker all right it took me a little while to get these uh two gauge size wire bent up well i got my two hots running in to the breaker and the new the uh, ground this bare one right here it comes up here and I was able to slide it in right there with the uh, anti oxidant compound for it not to uh, rust up. And for the neutral, I bent it up here, looped it around, and went straight into the terminal neutral kit for it to accept two gauge wire. So I ran it through the side of the house. All right, so now we're gonna install the double 450 and breaker starting the 20. Just slap it on. They're square D home line, so pretty uh, common to run these. And there it is. That's how that looks. Uh, the two hots, these ones, the two hots right here, the neutral and the ground will be down here. All right, so I got it all installed already. We got, we're running the ground cable down to the ground bus bar. We got the neutral, which is white, to the neutral bus bar, separating the sub panel. We got phase B red here, phase A black. The two main conductors pulling the electricity from the main panel. So the two hots. And we got the 50, 30, and the 20. And now we're gonna be running the 50 amp receptacle for my welder. 650R receptacle, 50 amp. We got a ground screw and our two hots. Number six wire. All right, for the 30 amp breaker, running on the 50 amp receptacle. I'm running number 10 wire. Got the two hots on the ground, grounded to the box too. All right, we got the 20 amp installed too. 12 two wire on this one with the green screw for ground. Everything's connected. All right, now we're gonna test them with the multimeter. They should be reading uh, 250 volts for the 50 and the 30 amp. Let's see. There it is. And there it is. And for this one, we'll plug in a 20 amp for the small compressor. I'll be getting a bigger one. Plugged in. All right, here's the finished product, 100 amp sub panel. 50 amp, 30 amp, and 20 amp. For the welder, plasma cutter, and compressor.